He pay me best to buy this one now. But when you see this one in people's houses, you think they are rich. That's why they are taking it. Hey, good morning, fam. So this morning, I'll be going over to get my goods at a papa. Some of you already know that I'm into cereal business. I'm into oats and stuff. So I have some oat supplies at a papa, and I have demand for it outside Lagos. So I'll be stopping over at mile two to do the way build. My two is actually close to a papa, so I'll do the way build there. And the closest large market to me from mile two is trade fair. So I'm going to trade fair to get some provisions, a few provisions like milk, basically. And I guess some few things. I think I'll need statement earrings. So I like you guys to come with me, see what prices they are selling things now. Maybe I can do some few shopping and tell you about the prices of things I bought. Come along guys, let me go have my bath first. It's the first time you're seeing me like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost ready. I'll just be wearing a jacket on this. I'm already on a jean and we'll be hustling the market out. Just chill with me as I begin to do this. Let me just do the combing of the wig. Okay. Wig got history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. If you want me to do vlogs about where to get good original wigs here in Nigeria, I can do that because I do sell hair too. So I source for it. Whatever they are selling for 500 naira, you will buy for 1000 or 700. So you better be careful. Just pack your hair like a normal human being. I'll talk to packing it, too. something like this. So I just got to the trade fair market. This is the provision section. They sell food ingredients here too for spicing. This is rice. You can see all sorts that you can get at the trade fair market. Things are cheaper here. If you want your provisions in cartons, imported goods in cartons. Yes, just put it outside. Are you still going to lock up? Yes, I'm going to warehouse the fair market. Uh, in that case, I will just put it outside. Maybe I'll call this Malams. So she introduced this milk to me, great value. It's exactly like coffee mix. How many kids? They chop this one for three weeks. Yeah, three now. Three people will eat this one for three weeks. So how many is in a carton? It's four. Four. Mm. A, a carton is how much? Thirteen five. Thirteen. I can give you thirteen three. Okay. Mm. This carton is twenty one five. This one is thirteen five. Yes. Okay. So I'll give you uh, twenty one last. Twenty one, but th thirteen three last. Thirteen three. Pick one two three is now one thousand four hundred at the major market at the trade fair market, but it's one five in other places. What about that of full cream? Um, how many days I carton? For adult, or not children. No full cream. Two pieces. The adult takes it. Eh, hey, that's what I'm saying. The, the big. Eh, eh. Hey, hey. Okay. The carton is how much? I'll give you thirty three five. One is how much? You're selling three thousand. I'll give you two. It's three thousand now. So this one pays then. You pay me best to buy this one now. It was someone that told me that if I see this one, that is cheaper than. But this one is it for adults or children? This one is for adults, have it? My children take six. How does it? Put sugar. Okay, it doesn't have sugar. So if children, if children want to take it, like my children, like my son, they like sugar. They will not eat sugar. So it's best adults buy this one. Yeah. This one called is this one is it? Yes. So it's time for us to go to the costume jewelry section and this is the GL market at Trade Fair. 
guys it's always very interesting anytime i come here this is what i love like there was a time i usually live for costumes like i so love them don't get me wrong i love gold but then costumes as a way of you know making you look like you are more dressed than you actually are has changed here at the trade fair market this is where i usually buy my costumes look at how large this store is this is just one person's store he orders directly from china and the man is an elderly man thank you sir <laughs> this is your typical nigerian market vlog if you want to start your business in food shopping if you want to start selling in wholesale or retail, you can come to the Lagos Trade Fair International Market, the one at Ojo Barracks area, to come and start shopping and start selling. It's a neat market. It's not as rough as other markets, though the road that leads to the market is a bit rough. So if you've been staying at home and looking for the next business to start, honey, I advise you to start a jewelry business. A few years back, I started a jewelry business with 25,000 Naira. And I was able to make 150,000 Naira from 25,000 Naira in six months. That is how lucrative it can be. I'm not talking of people that do business with the aim of spending immediately. If you do business with the aim of investing that money back, you will definitely make that kind of money. It is something you can start. You can sell online. You don't need a shop. You can go to offices and sell to them. And costume is something that everybody finds attractive. So come to the Trade Fair International Market. Here you have, you have so many things you can start up. I mean, if you want to start a small business, it is a way for you to start. This is the neck piece section. And these neck pieces are lovely. Like they are affordable. You can see some ranging from 700 to 25. I love this red one particularly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see some ranging from 700 naira to 2500 naira to 3000 naira these things are not as expensive as they seem to be when you see them on people's neck and people sell it with times to the price can you see how massive this store is it's endless showcase of jewelries like any kind you need if you want to wear it for your o and b yeah you're good to go if you wear, want to wear it for your uh, corporate you're good to go a lot of my colleagues when I was working in the office usually love to buy costumes from me because I go to the market on Saturdays to go and get them sell glasses as well so if you're looking for fancy glasses whether for your kids or for yourself Earrings range from 300 to 1,500 naira. This is 500 naira earring. As in, they are quite affordable. Omo, you go be like fine girl by the time where you just gather everything one by one and you wear them. So you can actually comfortably live your life using costumes right here at the trade fair market. Let's quickly price King's vegetable oil to see how much. In fact, Omo, they even fear to ask him. Kings, twenty thousand. This one, Monko, five thousand seven hundred. This ten liters, Abi. How much is ten liters? Eleven. And then, how much is this three hundred kg bag? 400 naira. Yes. The last time I bought it, how much did I buy it? 300, 300 naira. Yes. Now it's 400 naira. Nice. How much is 100 kg? 100 kg is 300. <laughs> These items are not made in Nigeria. They are imported. You can imagine that ordinary bags to carry goods are imported into the country. They said that some materials are imported and sewn here in Nigeria, but basically they even import the bags itself to this country that I don't understand. These bags are now so expensive that you would not believe how much we are buying it. 
So when we tell a customer, this is the price for your goods, we factor in these things. Because by the time we add the value of the bag to it, you will realize that it does not even pay the person selling to you. 100 kg is... I'm just coming back from the provision market. I'm going to give you all the gist. Just wait for it. I'm presently not using any light. I'm using just cotton divider and natural light is shining through. It's a cool day today. It's not a, a sunny day. So I don't know why it is because there was sun in the morning, but now there's no sun. Yeah, so your girl is back. I mean, I've had my bath and I'm looking fresh. I'm not looking like a homeless child that I was looking like this morning. So let me show you everything I bought. I didn't buy much anyways, but at least I took you through the videos already. It takes GABA, it takes Nutriben and Nutribone. These three has been consistent in its feeding. But I didn't buy any of them except for this because I saw a new flavor and that is honey and wheat. And because I personally like honey and wheat, I feel that my son might like it so I want him to try it. I bought a couple and I bought this for 750 Naira. That is because I'm, I was buying from the trade fair. The supermarket, this is 850. In other market, this is 800. But because it's a major market, trade fair market, I bought for 750 Naira. Do you know this meal, coffee mate? This milk goes for 3,900 in the market. And this milk is a dietary milk. It's low in fat and still has artificial flavor to make it sweetened and it's quite creamy okay but i didn't buy this one because i saw something cheaper this particular one is 1.5 kg okay and it's 3900 naira okay now i bought this one i bought three of this this is 1.7 kg and i bought it for 3700 naira in the markets at the trade fair market things are cheaper because it's a major market but if i had bought it elsewhere it's going to be quite expensive than that. Another thing I saw about this milk is it's cheaper, basically cheaper than full cream I usually buy. I was intending to buy the full cream and it's 8,500 naira, 2.3 kg. The refill pack is 8,005. Now, if you add 1.7 kg plus 1.7 kg, that is 3.4 kg, and full cream is 2.3 kg. If you add 3.7 plus 3.7, that is 7,400 naira. Full cream is 8,500 naira. 3.4 kg is larger than 2.3 kg. That means that you are still shortchanging yourself if you still buy full cream as an adult. Hey, as a disclaimer here, I'm not trying to ring their product. I love the full cream. I enjoy it basically. In fact, that's the last milk I still have in my kitchen. But if you want to reduce your weight and you love milk like me, you can do it by drinking milk that is low in fat and you forgive yourself for taking something so creamy it's still full in cream but it's low in fat in fact i gave my kid and he loves it he's a very picky eater and for him to actually love this milk man i was happy it's not sugary like you know the usual milk the usual animal milk has a high sugar content but this is plant-based basically and there's something I love about this. Great quality, great price guaranteed. If for any reason you aren't happy, we'll replace it or return your money. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine that happening in Nigeria? Like, you replace it or return our money? I mean, are you serious? <laughs> All you need is the package. Tell us what you think and the number is on it or online at walmart.com slash great value. So Walmart is the distributor of this, it is imported. Imagine the product that is here in Nigeria is sold for 8,500 naira and the product that is imported is sold for 7,400 naira. Just compare the price. Though that is an animal based milk, so you cannot 
compare it based on that. But based on price and based on quantity, it is more than the one that is produced here in Nigeria. And I wonder why. Because our indigenous products are even getting more expensive than the imported products or at the same price with the imported products. Why would people not be going for imported products? How can we encourage industrialization if we are doing this to ourselves? So sis, wait, make we talk. Guys, wait, make we talk now. Why have you not clicked that subscribe button? I mean, I know that sometimes when you click through Facebook, you may be finding it difficult to subscribe or to comment. Or you can only like or even like sometimes can be difficult. Yeah, you have to go and log in. That is what happens. Yes, I know. When you click through WhatsApp, it's the same thing that happens. Yes, I'm aware. But share the love now. Do well to log in, subscribe, comment. Tell me more videos you like to see from me. I will be happy to put out videos like that. And if you have not seen my last video on food prices at mile 12, do well to check it out before I make other videos like this. Check the description below for other videos on business ideas, side hustles, tutorials on YouTube and other interesting things. Besides, if you click the subscribe button right now, you stand a chance for a weekly shout out and YouTube will notify you the moment our videos come out. So our shout out this week goes to Ifiai Ojiku. Welcome to the channel. We are so happy to have you as part of us. More vlogs to you. We're going to be doing a lot of videos you're going to be enjoying. Please share this vlog with your family and friends. And we all on Funkel Daughters vlog, we are saying welcome.